Hello, and welcome to another Art of Learning a Small Town Business. Uh, thanks for being with us today. And today I'm going to talk about why goal setting doesn't work. Now, I know what you're thinking. Goal setting is taught to every business owner as the be all and end all of business success. Now, I used to think the same thing, but in most businesses, management suggests goals for employees to achieve. Now, in my opinion, this is wrongheaded thinking. Instead of going for goals, instead, we should be thinking about carefully defined systems. What's the difference between goals and systems? Here's an example. Salespeople often have to meet monthly sales goals. And if they make the goal, that's great. If they fail too many times, though, they're unemployed. And the stress of the final week of goal setting can be stressful. And that's the downside of goal setting. Now let's talk about applying a sales system to your selling. And here's an, here's an alternative. I sold furniture for a retail store for eight years. Our compensation was based on what we sold for the entire year, not month to month. In January, we all started with a base salary and a 5% commission. When our sales reached a certain dollar amount, our commission moved up to 5.5%, then 6, then 6.5, then 7, and so on. The more you sold, the more you made. So each day there was a motivation not to reach a specific monthly goal, but to create a system that would allow you to move ahead for that one day. Now, a poor salesperson could have spent the entire year at 5%. The company made the markup on whatever that person paid less. Uh, they paid less in payroll to sell it. So the company came out ahead on those sales. But that salesperson was not as profitable or to the company in the long run. So instead of a goal, a daily system of finding the individual best ways to sell and the best products to sell, was much more profitable and productive than monthly goals. Goals can lead to depression and unhappiness. Basically, a goal says you're less than you are, but you'll be better when you reach your goal, if you ever do. This is one reason using a goal to lose weight so often fails. Don't make the goal weight the end result. Instead, make daily life changes to your eating habits and the weight loss will take care of itself over time and you'll have a better chance of keeping it off in the future. Goals can tank your long-term process. It's a lot like cramming for finals in college. If you developed and used a daily study uh, program or system from day one, you'd be reviewing not just cramming. But after the test, you'd also have a better chance of retaining the knowledge down the road. Goals suggest you have control. You don't. Life has a way of getting in the way of you making your goals. No one can predict the future. COVID, for example. The best you can do is plan. Just do what I do with these videos. I write them. I plan them. I, I assemble them, graphics, record them. I've written three small business books. See the Amazon link below. Now, setting out to write a 60,000 word book is a definite challenge. But I discovered that writing articles three times a week for a year, I wrote the equivalent of three 250 page books. If I set a goal of writing three books in a year, I would have probably miserably failed. But using a planned writing system made three articles a week a piece of cake whatever you want to accomplish in life create a system that works for you and your lifestyle rather than a goal to accomplish the goal will be gone but the system will still be there working and improving so starting a business is a noble goal but there is a system that takes an idea to full fruition success is the daily progression toward a worthwhile goal or dream it's not the goal or dream to focus on. It's the daily progression or system required to get the job done. So stay focused, develop a daily system that works for you, 
and success will follow. And I'll see you on the next podcast.